I'm jealous of homeschooled kids though. Homeschooled kids were prepared for the pandemic, okay? Right? They're probably mocking us right now like, oh, you don't get to go to prom? I've had prom in my living room five years in a row. I had a ballroom dance with my dad. Oh, you don't get to drive your nice car to school? I wake up, I'm at school. I spent nine months in my professor's stomach. Yeah, so homeschooled kids win. I wish I was homeschooled, but then again, my parents hardly know English, so I probably wouldn't be able to be up here right now. Like, have you seen Alexa and Siri at my house trying to understand my dad's accent? Oh, it's rough, man. Alexa just quit last week. <laughs> Apparently, phlegm is not a letter they understand. And every time my dad goes up to Siri and goes, call home, she calls Homeland Security. <laughs> I love that guy. <laughs> but they sent me to public school where I learned the right form of English, you know? And uh, public school was great, but there was a little bit of bullying. Like, I got bullied by this guy who worked at Chick-fil-A, which wasn't bad, because I would just walk into his shift and have him be nice to me for hours. <laughs> Drop a tray, talk to the manager. Brandon, you didn't say my pleasure. You're cooking the Lord's chicken. Put some more sauce. <laughs> My dad tried to give me advice on bullying. He's like, John, we're Christian. So you take them by the arm, put it behind their back, push them up against the wall and say, I forgive you. <laughs> but I get why I was bullied though, you know? My parents tried to raise us like we were still in the Middle East. While all the other kids went to Disney World, they would take us to the Middle East for vacation. And, and looking back, it kind of was like Disney World. You know, the water was murky, like the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. There were fireworks, but they came down. And Princess Jasmine was in the parade, but she was holding an AK and wearing a Death to America t-shirt. It's kind of the same. Public school helped though, because I learned how to act in public school. And my theater was the school nurse's office. That's where I learned how to act, okay? There's a couple steps to it, okay? The first step is, you gotta pick, is this video game worth the next two hours of a brilliant performance as kid who is sick? Okay, once you got past that, you gotta go to step two, pick your condition. Stomach pain, head pain, you can't say fever, because she's got one of the best thermometers in the game, okay? Third thing is you gotta pick your walk up to the nurse's office. You gotta do the limp groan, or the flailing arms, or the crawl. Yeah, I don't have to do it, you get it. <laughs> so once you've walked up to the nurse's office, you're gonna wanna sit there, still act sick. Oh, Nurse Becky, it, it hurts. Just call my mom. And then you hear it, your standing ovation, your mom on the other end of the phone. You pick it up, you go, Mom, I'm not lying this time. Come pick me up. You pass all the other kids who are being sent back to Common Core. <laughs> you get in your car, boom, go home, you're an actor. It's perfect. And so I tried to use my acting skills at my private Christian university, but the nurse there was like, oh, you're sick? It's just the Holy Spirit running through you. <laughs> go back to class. And I was kind of worried because our campus safety is just a room of people praying. <laughs> our campus safety officer, he doesn't have a belt with a gun. It's the belt of righteousness. <laughs> yeah. I got hit by a car in junior high, which probably explains everything. <laughs> I got hit by an old lady in a smart car who made a wrong left, hit me. I flew back, landed on my backpack. Paramedic took me over to the side. He's like, John, count to 10. I'm like, why? He's like, we gotta check if your head's all right. I'm like, shouldn't you check if the old lady's head's all right? <laughs> and I was like, okay, also, can you tell the nurse I'm not lying this time? 